Clarivane is the latest uh, technology in the treatment of varicose veins. It's a form of endovenous treatment, which means that we don't make big cuts in the patients. We insert the treatment device into the vein and using various forms of uh, uh, treatment modality, we actually sort of get rid of the vein that's causing problem. La. Traditional methods use heat energy. So you have radio frequency, you have steam, you have laser. All these are various forms of uh, heat energy. The beauty about Clarivane is that it uses uh, mechanical irritation and it, uh, injects a special uh, glue, a sclerosin, into the vein to seal off the vein. So there's minimal heat energy, so there's minimal chance of, uh, less chance of you damaging surrounding important structures, uh, like important nerves that supply parts of the skin. And uh, it's advantages as well because there's less energy uh, transferred to the, the vein. So the, the bruising would be less. And the big thing about doing the procedure itself is that in the traditional methods when we use heat energy to uh, treat the vein, we actually need to inject a lot of local anesthesia around the, the vein itself, which makes it very hard for the procedure to be done with uh, as little sedation as possible. Clarivane does not require us to do that because we do not need to isolate the heat energy. It just uses a non-heat sort of uh, way of treating the vein. So what happens with that is that we can uh, get away with no determinants, minimal sedation, and in fact can be done in local anesthesia if the patients can, uh, are not of the nervous uh, sort. Uh. So that makes it better. Mm. Okay. You have the equipment in front of you. Okay. Okay. So let's say in t talks, talking about traditional uh, treatment methods, this is a, this is a laser fiber. Okay, and the laser fiber sits in the vein and it applies a laser energy around the, the, the vein to sort of treat it, to sort of close it up. Okay, of course with the heat energy you get bruising and all the other side effects. With uh, clary vein what happens is that you ac it's actually a very blunt uh, instrumentation that goes into the vein. So this, this device actually goes up to the vein and once it, uh, that if you see the mechanism once it's at the location where we start our treatment, the, the, the treatment catheter actually comes out right now. Sorry. The treatment catheter actually comes out. Okay. And through this device, what we do is that the machine rotates it around like that, as such. And at the same time, it's, it's the, this uh, device is actually hollow. Through here, we inject a medication that we traditionally use to treat varicose, uh, to treat veins, a sclerosin. Okay, so it's, it's double action. So the, the mechanical rotation actually causes the vein to collapse. At the same time, we inject the chemical to uh, close up the vein. So actually, the more technical way to describe it is called MOCA, mechanical chemical ablation therapy. So no, no use of heat energy. And you realize even though, I mean, the, from the sound, it looks it sounds a bit scary. Actually, it's very atraumatic. I'm putting my hands here, see that? There's no pain, really? there's, there's no, doesn't hurt the hand. It's, it's actually very, very soft. It's actually a very soft uh, device. Yeah. Varicose veins are very um, engorged, the standard veins are found in the uli in the patient's legs. Uh. It's a manifestation of the fact that the patient has this condition called uh, venous insufficiency, which means that in a normal person, when we stand up, the, the blood in the veins is not supposed to build up in the legs. But in patients with varicose veins, right, all the blood, blood just pools in the legs when the person stands up. Uh. A lot of you think there's a cosmetic problem, but a percentage, significant percentage of patients over the years, right, if the condition is not treated, it leads to very severe skin changes, which also leads to uh, ulcers forming in the skin. And when that happens in these patients, uh, whatever treatment we give at that point of time, uh, you cannot reverse the skin back to a normal situation. The, the damage is already done. So usually patients with varicose veins, upon diagnosis, we advocate the patient go for treatment at that point of time because there's no way we can predict at that point of time of first contact which one of them will develop the, the, the complications. Uh. Yeah. So who, who is 
uh, what kind of patients are suitable for this procedure? Okay. I think the most important thing is that the, 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 pers the surgeon doing the procedure should be the same person doing the ultrasound. As you can see for this device, right, uh, even though it's very soft and compliant, let's say the, the vein is very uh, windy or there are very side branches, that makes it difficult for this device to go all the way up, then the, perhaps the patient is not a candidate for this procedure. Okay? If the patient has a sort of a skin reaction, allergic reaction to the medication that we're injecting before, the patient is definitely out for this procedure. The patient has a history of deep vein thrombosis, because what we're doing, we're actually okay, clotting the vein. So the patient has deep vein thrombosis before, uh, I think they're at risk of uh, the same condition happening. These patients shouldn't go for this procedure. But the most important thing is that the, the surgeon doing the procedure should be the surgeon doing the ultrasound before the procedure is done, so he knows what to expect during the procedure itself. Hmm? More jelly, eh? yeah. Sorry, yeah. So that's uh, LSJ, L hmm? the SFJ, mm -hmm. the LSV coming out. Crossing here, you see that? This LSV divides into a deeper one and more superficial one. Uh, I think this is the main trunk, you see that? That's the main one. Yeah, so we're used to this. Uh. Okay. So, uh, pro Brenda's issue is high, it's actually high up. Uh. Well, puncturing a bit uh, lower down first. Okay, injection. Huh? After I'll put in the LA for you. Slight inject. Everything okay? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah? Still no, uh, injecting the local anesthesia. Oh, okay. This part feel okay? Yeah. You have the micro puncture wire inside your tire already now. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm making a side incision. Very slight one, just to let the four French uh, micropuncture set go in. Okay, the sheath is in already. Audrey, let's have saline. Eh? Decrease the depth for me. Decrease the depth. Yeah. More, more. Okay, just pass the junction already. No, I don't want the tip to come out yet. No? I don't want the tip to come oh, out okay. yet. Mm. Actually, the ultrasound now is very important to mark the location. 
the ultrasound scan is the most important now. Yeah. Then you can see the device inside the, through the junction. So usually we should pass it a bit like a bit around here. Every part of time I'm, you're uncomfortable, just tell me, yeah? Are you okay? Mm, yeah. You turn on the color mode. I'm starting, uh, Brenda. Just tell me if you feel uncomfortable. Uh. <laughs> you feel something? I got shock. Yeah. I got electric shock. Yeah. Electric shock. Okay. Good. The way I glove is hold out the sound for me. Okay, it started at the junction now we're pulling mm -hmm. back. Uh. So we should put them behind the junction. Mm, okay. The landmark I use is the superficial epigastric. Oh. Yeah, usually it's quite safe there. The patient is not that well that it's not that bad. Just hold steady there. Eh? You look at the screen eh? okay, so yeah. Don't Don't press too hard, don't press too hard. resistance in the catheter always. Maybe try not to compress too much with the ultrasound. This is actually recommended not to do together with the ultrasound. Oh, okay. mm. So it's sealed up. Oh, good. Mm. Can't see already. Can't see the flow going in. Very sealed up already. Top part. Okay, good. One mil for about two mils for each square, right? Zero point two, yeah, for each marking. Following the catheter out now, eh? It's still a shock, the uh, shock mm. kind of thing, eh? Yep, so 2 cm more and you can stop. 